Hello everyone, my name is Ben Decker and in this video I'm going to go over the ratio of super bulk trade. So before I get started, just a quick disclaimer that options trading is risky, this is not trade recommendations, and you and only you are responsible for the trades you put on, so you shouldn't be putting on options trades unless you know how they work. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So I recommend watching my previous video on the Super Bowl trade if you haven't already. I'm going to be using Tilray again. That's what I use in the Super Bowl trade uh, just so it's easy to get an apples to apples comparison between the two strategies. So I'm using Tastyworks again. Type in TLRY for Tilray. I'll go to the trade page here and be the table mode. Here's the option chain. So for the ratio Super Bowl, we want to do the same base expiration requirement as the Super Bowl. So that's about 60 to 90 days to expiration. In this case, we're going to go to the June 18th monthly, which is 68 days to expiration. I'll click on that to open up the options chain. And we're going to start out the same way as the Super Bowl. So the Super Bowl, if you remember, we started out with an at the money call that we bought. So in this case, with Tilray trading at 1976, we're going to buy, which is hitting the ask price of the $20 call. And then we're going to sell a call that's half the value of this $20 call. So for this uh, case, we're going to sell the call that's going for about $175. So if you scroll down on the page, you can see that we can either do this 28 put or call or the 29 call. So I'm going to do the 28 call, just like in the Super Bowl trade. That gives us a 163 debit. And in the Super Bowl trade, we sold a put to finance this. So in this case, we went with the 17 put. That trade gave us a 42 cent credit with a pop of 54% and a delta of 52. One negative aspect of this trade is that the break even is pretty close to the uh, stock price. So here the stock price is 1976. Our break even is just below 17. So the stock can only move $3 down before we start losing money. So one way we can combat this is we can, instead of selling one put, we can sell two puts and we can move this put down in price uh, to get our break even further away. So for the ratio Super Bowl, I also want to keep the delta around 50. So here if we go down to the 14 put, we're still taking in a small credit and our delta is 55. If you wanted to be a little bit more bullish, you could do the 15 put. That would give us a higher credit, but it would give us a higher delta, meaning that this trade would be more bullish and our break even would not be as far away. So if we go to the 14 put, if I go back to the curve, curve uh, tab here, make sure your analysis button is checked, and it'll give you the P&L on this trade. So this trade, the break even is down to 14, actually 13.95 with our five cent uh, credit here. So our break even is much further away, and on the upside, it's it's virtually the same as the Super Bowl. Uh, your max profit is 805 in this case. It's a little bit less than the Super Bowl just because you're taking in a smaller credit. Uh, the risk in this trade, the worst case scenario, is getting long 200 shares of Tilray at $14. So it's double the risk as the Super Bowl trade. So I would only put on the ratio of Super Bowl if you're okay with getting long 200 shares of Tilray at $14. If you're not okay with that, then you shouldn't be putting on this trade or you should be managing very quickly with a stop loss. So on the upside, uh, if the price of Tilray goes up, this trade will make money. Um, same criteria as a Super Bowl, you can take it off as a scalp if you make say 10 to 20 percent. Uh, I like to hold a little bit longer and try to squeeze a little bit more profit out and hold till maybe 50 to 75 percent profit. 
Uh, it's really up to you and what type of trading style you like. But this is, like I said, the ratio super bull. It's a bullish trade. It's a higher pop trade. This one's a 67% pop uh, compared to the debit spread, which is a less than 50% probability of profit. So that's the video. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the page to see more trading content. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.